is Erica Pimentel. Her supervisor is Dr. Cedric Lesage. She's doing a PhD in business administration at Concordia University. Erica's talk is titled, What Do You Do? Ready? Mister? Yes. Sorry about that, we had false, false alarm. All right. What do you do for a living? What does your job entail? Has it become sitting in Zoom meetings all day? Or are you like the gentleman in this photo working from home, but trying to do so while the kids are running around and the dog is barking? Look, the pandemic has changed how we work fundamentally. We have new ways of working, new ways of engaging with our work, new ways of creating community in the workplace. My research explores how technological and societal change impacts how people, mostly professionals, find meaning at work. This question is important because for many, this question of what do you do becomes who are you, what are you? For these folks, their identity is so tightly wound up in whatever it is that they do that this becomes an important source of meaning and purpose. So by looking at how these folks overcome challenges to find satisfaction at work, well, we can all learn how to do so ourselves. To conduct my research, I've embedded myself in an accounting firm for close to two years to understand how professionals communicate and behave. I've also done interviews on Zoom to understand how remote work impacts how we connect in a virtual workplace. So far, I've learned that to achieve meaning at work, this can be done when we align our values, morals, and actions. This doesn't need to mean saving the planet. It could be something as simple as an accountant who feels like they're saving jobs by helping their client get a bank loan. The problem is that remote work changes the opportunities that we have to align our values and actions. Folks are telling me, look, when I'm trying to get my work done on the corner of the kitchen table with the kids screaming and the dog yelling, it's easy to lose sight of how my job fits into the grand scheme of things. My research has allowed me to put together some actionable recommendations on how we can bring back the best of in-place work with remote work to re-engage employees. For one, it's time that we rethink workplace culture in a way that allows employees to bring their authentic selves to work. Let's allow employees to showcase their competence instead of focusing on rigid standards of self-presentation. Look, if you're like me and you're wearing sweatpants right now, you know that what you wear doesn't always impact how well you do your job. Next, let's rethink the way we reward and evaluate employees. I encourage organizations to think long and hard about what exactly they want from their employees and reward the people who bring the most to the team, not who's first to arrive and last to leave. And finally, it's high time that employees and employers rethink their relationship with one another in a way that creates a sense of community. Together, we can adapt workplaces so that they can provide meaning to all. Thank you. Thank you, Erica.